In this video, we are going to configure Nano VNA. This is version 2, but it could be any version. We are focused just one port, that is S11. S11 port can be identified very easily. It is marked with an arrow pointing outwards and a U-turn arrow. S11 port provides signal to the attached device, cable, etc. And it also measures the reflections or reflected power. Straight arrow pointing outward represents the outgoing signal, while the U-turn arrow represents the reflected signal, which goes into the VNA. To calibrate, we need a VNA. We need a stylus or you can use any other thing in place of stylus to click the screen and three reference SMA terminators. These are called short, open and load. We abbreviate it as SOL. Identifying these references is not difficult. As you can see, I have three references on my hand and you can see that one is in a different color. The silver color is load and golden ones are open and short. If you look closely at the load, you will see a center pin which is isolated from the outer body of the load. It is isolated with the help of a plastic like material. If you check it with an ohm meter by placing a prod on the body and the other one in the center conductor, you will see a 50 ohm resistance. This is the short terminator. As you can see, center pin is connected with the body. There is no insulator in between the body and the center pin. So this is short. This can also be verified with the help of a multimeter or ohm meter. This one is open. We can see that in place of center conductor, there is a hollow space. So this one represents an open circuit reference. I will remove the yellow dust cover from S11 line and switch on the device. To calibrate our first step is to open the menu by clicking on the right side and on some VNS on the left side of the screen. In the menu click on the stimulus. After stimulus I click on the start and enter here 700 megahertz as start frequency. And then click on stop and enter here 1000 megahertz as stop frequency. With this I am setting the sweep range of the VNA. At the bottom of the VNA screen we can see the start and stop we just entered into the system. After setting the stimulus we go one step back to the previous menu and click here on the CAL or calibration. To clear any calibration present in the RAM, we click on the reset menu item. And after reset, we click on the calibrate. Now it's time to use our open, short and load reference terminators. Pick open reference and connect it to S11 port. After connecting, click on open in the menu. It will take a very short time and then menu item will change as shown in the screen. It means that it has configured open. Now it's time to remove open reference and connect short reference. Now click on short and it will change as soon as configuration is complete for short reference. Now we need to remove the short and connect load. Click on load and now we can see load has been configured. The next in line is through. This is for port S21. I have explained it in the next video. So for now we will skip through and click on done. Now it is giving us options to save this calibration. We see five memory locations. You pick any one you like, but remember any previous calibration in that location will be wiped out. I select save for. This calibration has been saved in save for memory location. 
We can recall it whenever we need it. After saving, we are done with the calibration. I am doing an optional step to verify calibration. We can do it anytime. I have just switched off and then switch on the device to open menu. Then click on recall and click on recall 4. This was the memory location where I stored my calibration. So VNA will load all the calibration and all other settings into the memory now. We can verify by looking at start and stop frequencies. To verify it further, I have installed 50 ohm load reference and it shows 50 ohm here on the Smith chart. And we can also see that the Smith chart marker which is in green color is right in the center of the Smith chart. As already said, please ignore the other markers and traces. Now I have replaced 50 ohm load reference with short load reference. See it's on leftmost point of the Smith chart. So this is also good and okay. Smith chart shows short at this point. If you have a short coaxial or feed, short feed, you will see Smith chart pointer at this location. Now I have replaced with the open reference load and this is rightmost point on the Smith chart center right to represent that we have an open circuit. So it verifies our calibration. See you again on the next part for S21 calibration.